Hey everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to model a Lego brick and how to insert a text into a part. Let's first open a part. Then we go to the top plane. And then we're gonna select a rectangle and we're gonna use the center rectangle. Click on center rectangle, go to the origin And then we're going to give this rectangle some dimensions. Click Smart Dimension. This side will be 31.8. And the top will be 15.8. And we're going to extrude the sketch. We go to Features, Extrude Bus. And we're going to extrude this by 9.8. Six. Okay. Then we're gonna sketch on top. We're gonna select this face. Select sketch. And we're gonna draw a circle. Somewhere around here. And we're gonna select the center line and we're gonna draw the center line from the middle of the circle to the sides. One over here, one over here. And we're gonna give those center lines a dimension and they both will be 3.9. And the circle will be 4.8. Then we're going to extrude the circle. We'll go to features, extrude, and we're going to extrude it by 1.8. Click OK. Then we're going to insert the text. So we're going to click on the face we want to sketch on, click the sketch, we're going to select center line and we're going to draw a line from here to here. And then we're going down. 0.8 millimeters. So we're gonna select smart dimension again. This will be 0.8 millimeters, and this will be 4.25 millimeters. Then we go to text. And we're going to type in Lego. And select italic. And we're not going to use the document font. But we're going to use another font. So select font. Go to the top. And this isn't the Lego font, but it kind of looks like it. So we're going to use this one. We're going to go to points, select 0.6, OK. And then we can use a guideline, and we're going to use this line. So click on the line. And we want it in the center of the line. So click center align. And then we have our text. Click OK. We go to features. And we're going to extrude the text. Click on extrude. And we're going to extrude it by 0.1 
millimeter. After this, we're going to select linear pattern. And we're going to select this text and we're going to select the circle. And the direction will be, uh, the first direction will be this. So select this line. The spacing will be eight millimeters. And in, for the second direction, we select this line. We're going to reverse the direction. And the distance will also be 8. Then click OK. And then we're already done with the top. So now we're going to finish the bottom. So Rotate the piece around by clicking on the scroll wheel. Select the bottom. Click on sketch. And then we're going to select offset entities. We're going to click on reverse. And we're going to offset by 1.2 millimeters. Then we're going to select extruded cut and then the depth will be 8.4 millimeters. OK. Then we're going to select C hidden lines. So make the hidden lines visible. And then we're going to sketch on this face. Select center line, draw a line from this circle to this circle. And draw another line. That's aligned with the origin. And then on this point, we're going to draw a circle. Select circle. And then give the circle dimension. It will be 6.5. And we're going to offset the circle. So select offset entities. Click on the circle. Going to reverse. And we're going to offset it by 0.85. Click OK. We're going to go to Features, Extrude Boss Base. Click on Up to Vertex. Select this vertex. And then it will extrude up to this point. You can also select the face, but we're going to select this point. Click on OK. Then we're going to create a linear pattern again because we need three of these shapes in here. I'm going to go to linear pattern. Features the pattern. We're going to insert the direction, so click on this line, and we only need three. Click on OK. And then the only thing we still have to do is draw some ridges. So when you stack the pieces on top of each other, they will stick together. 
so click this face again, sketch. We're gonna draw the center line from this point to this point. You select center rectangle, click on this point, and then give this a dimension. This will be 0.6. Will also be 0.6, and we're going to mirror this sketch two times. So we're going to draw two center lines one over here, one over here. Then we're going to go to Mirror Entities, select this sketch, and by holding the left mouse button you can drag over a sketch and select everything, and mirror about, select this line, OK. And then we're going to mirror these two sketches. And we're going to use this line. This line. Click OK. Then we're going to extrude the sketches. So. Click OK. Maybe only need ridges on the side. So we're going to click on this face again. Click Sketch. I'm going to draw another center line from this point to the side. And this ridge will have the same dimensions. So both sides, 0.6. Then we're going to extrude the sketch. Click OK. Then we're going to go to Linear Pattern. We're going to select the direction. And we need four ridges. After that, we go to mirror, and we're going to mirror those ridges. We're first going to select a plane. We're going to select the right plane. And the features we want to mirror is this one and the linear pattern. Click OK. And then our Lego brick is finished. What we can do is give it a color. If you want to give it a color, you can go to Appearances here on the right. And you can select a color, you click on it, and then drag it on the part and release it. And then you can select if you want it on the part, on the body, on only the feature or the face, but we're going to select part. And to finish it off, you can insert some fillets. And 
make it zero point one. And our Lego brick is finished. Thanks for watching.